In this Shopbot Tools technical support video, we will cover changing the zeroing location that the tool will use for the Z0 routine, or the C2 command. First, we will launch Shopbot 3 as an administrator. As we are making a change in the software settings, running as an administrator ensures that these settings stick and are not affected by any policy settings or administrative settings on the computer. So we will right click and run as an administrator and the software will launch. Once started, if we are in easy mode, we will click the question mark and select to switch to full. Once in full mode, we will have the command console and go to the tools drop down and select Shopbot setup. The Shopbot setup screen will appear and we will click past the first step, which is just telling us a little information about the file that this setup writes to. After clicking next once, we have our tool settings, which we do want to check over. Down towards the bottom here, we have the questions we want to focus on for this video, which is, do you have any of the following accessories? In all versions of the software, after 3.6, we will have the questions, I have a z-axis zeroing plate and want to set up the z0 routine, which is the one we want to focus on and make sure that it's checked as we're adjusting the z0 plate settings for this setup. We can click next and we find ourselves on the z0 plate step. Here we'll find the setting that is for the thickness of the zeroing plate. And if you want to change this setting now, you can measure the thickness of the plate with calipers and input the thickness in inches or millimeters, whatever you're working in here. Next is whichever input number this Z0 plate is hooked up to. By default, it is input one and generally should be unless something custom is being done. The final step here is the step that we want to focus on, which is the step which allows you to zero the Z axis to a specific location on the tool in the X and Y. If you always want it to go to that location and zero in the same location, like if you're using a fixed Z0 plate, you'll want to check this box and then input the coordinates into the X axis and Y axis variable section. If you are not zeroing to a specific location each time and you are going to move the Z0 plate around, keep this box unchecked. Now the Z0 plate setup steps are done, we can click next through the rest of the steps and click I'm done. This will save the settings and next time the C2 or Z0 routine is run, the tool will go to the saved location.